Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool rotating or spinning freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see Patrick Mahomes just running right here. He freezes and then he just spins off the screen. It's a really cool um, and interesting effect. It doesn't always work that well with people, but I just kind of want to show you, you know, an example of what you could do um, with this effect. And I'll go over here to the example, and this is where I got the idea from. So basically the same idea instead of a spinning car. So as you can see, that's basically where I got the idea from. So yeah, it probably works better with a car than with an actual person, but this is where I found the video. Definitely go ahead and check out him. I've gotten a lot of ideas um, from this uh, Instagram account. So with, by all means, if you're trying to learn editing, he's probably the best um, Instagram account out there to really start learning editing and getting some really cool ideas um, for some really cool effects. So I definitely go ahead and encourage you to check out um, his Instagram page. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go to the end of the first clip. And I'm just gonna go back one frame. So I'm just gonna go back, or actually I'll go ahead Ahead and just trim it right here so I'll go like this right here I'll go like this go to the end of the first clip and then I'm just gonna go back one frame I'm gonna go ahead and click on the clip hold down option and I'm going to create a copy right there now on the marker right here I'm gonna go ahead and press on option F and just create a freeze frame right there I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this one um, freeze frame right here I'm gonna go ahead and just um, lift this from the storyline and then I'm just gonna get rid of the storyline as you can see right here this frame and the top frame are the exact same frame you want to match the frames up and make sure you know they're the exact same frame right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim off right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and go like this. Control D, I'm gonna set this for 25 frames. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and go um, uh, 15 frames in. So I'm gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So go ahead and just cut it right here. So all you have um, right here is this is 10 frames and this is 15 frames and you'll see in a little bit why I want to um, go split it to 15 to 20 frames so I'm gonna go ahead you know go ahead and go back to fit right here I'm gonna go ahead and just go like this and go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and try, uh, try to find a mask right here so here is the draw mask right here and just gonna make a rough selection of Patrick Mahomes obviously you know you want to put a lot more time and effort into it but you know that would take like 20 30 minutes to do a good selection I just kind of want to give you um, an example of how to create this effect right here so you can see right here all I did right here was I just cut out um, Patrick Mahomes right there so it's pretty much all you want to do um, right there now what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning right here and you want to place a keyframe on rotation right here and then you want to go 15 frames in which is why I have a marker and you want to change the rotation to negative 270 right there so I go ahead and just play it right here wait for it to render I'm going to play right here so you can see Patrick Mahomes is just rotating for 15 frames all the way to 200 or negative 200 um, and 70 degrees now after 15 frames, what you wanna do is now you wanna place a keyframe on position because now we're gonna keyframe the position. So you're gonna go 10 frames in or 10 frames forward and then you're just gonna go back um, 10, uh, one frame. I'm gonna go ahead over to 50% right here. You're gonna change the rotation to negative 360 degrees. You're gonna take the Y axis and you're just gonna drag Patrick Mahomes off the screen right there. So I go ahead and play it right here. Gonna go. I'll kind of go frame by frame. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Rotates it to negative 270. Now I'm keyframing the position of the rotation. So now it's continuing to rotate, but he's basically falling off the screen right there. And there you go. That's pretty much how you create the effect. So I go ahead and play it right here. As you can see, there we go, he's rotating, and then he falls off the screen right there. And that pretty much at the end of the day is the effect. Uh, so as you can see right here, here, I'll go ahead and go to the beginning right here, and then here is the original video, here's the original video right here, and here's the video of me, you know, replicating that same effect right there so as you can see there we go obviously you know it's not the same because it's a car but that's pretty much it that's how you create 
um, the effect right here, original video, and then here's a video just for an example right here. And now Patrick Mahomes just rotates and slides off the screen right there. And of course you could add some motion blur just to help make the video um, look a lot nicer. And then here is the final edit, you know, once you actually put, you know, a lot more time and effort into the draw mask right here. This is what the effect um, looks like right here. As you see, there we go. Patrick Mahomes just rotates and slides off the screen. And as you see right here, there's some motion blur just to help make the effect look a lot nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and go over it one more time right here. So as you can see right here, here's Patrick Mahomes right here. He's just running right here and then boom, he freezes right here. This is set to um, 25 frames and then I just added some motion blur. So if you watch the rotation, um, it's being rotated. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keyframe to negative 270. Um, now I key from the position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And there you go. Now Patrick Mahomes has completely rotated um, and just kind of slid off the screen um, right there. And that's pretty much it. That's this really cool rotating. Um, mask effect right there. It's definitely a really cool effect and it, it's not you know, like a super practical effect and you can use it for every video but there would definitely definitely be some time where you could use um, this effect. It doesn't have to be a person, it could just kind of be like an object. So, um, it's just you know a little thing that you know, makes the video um, look a little bit more um, interesting. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 230 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.